and, and, and he take a photo. What's your name, sorry? My name is Jose. 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 This Jose wants to see, can he take a, um, a picture of you singing? Would you, would you mind? Nope. But you sing the song nice and slowly, won't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait until you say one, two, three. It's fine. One, two, three, go. In London City, where the girls are so pretty, I first laid my eyes up in my balloon. I will to a babble to a street by the apple, crying cockles and muckles a lie and libel. I died from a fever and no one could save. And that was the end of Simbali Malone. The ghost will to a to a street by the apple, crying cockles and muckles a lie and libel. My name is Maya. Uh, I'm a full-time mum, grandmother, tarot reader, but I'm also um, a Wiccan uh, or Celtic priestess, which means I practice the old religion of Ireland. I'm my partner. My name is Donald, Donald Fani. I'm Irish. I am um, in the Druid tradition, which is earthbound. We work normal nine to five jobs, but we practice the old religion. In Dublin, say from from, from our point of view, from a pagan point of view, say uh, the Wiccan witches, there's um, there's a huge community of witches that, and they meet every second week for socially, you know, or to have ritual together because they usually work full moon, new moon, and Sabbaths, but yeah, there's uh, within Dublin there, there is this whole kind of uh, undercurrent of, or this whole kind of used to be hidden yeah. many years ago of witches and pagans. Mm -hmm. So we have a little map, and we're here at the moment. So we're on number eight Crow Street, Dublin. And what we have here is Urban Outfitters, which is a very big chain, Pittsburgh chain, of fashion retailers. Coming from the front door of Urban Outfitters, going up Crow Street, you come to Stag's Head on the ground. It's, it's on the ground and carved into ground. And there's an archway. And in that archway, there's a laneway. And the laneway is bottle-shaped. Or for want of a better way of putting it, chalice-shaped. So you remember the stories about Holy Grail, mm and about the, the truth that Jesus was a woman um, or that it was a female Christ, right? And this is what this is, the symbol of, the chalice is the symbol of the feminine. Well, we were told to go and have a look at these eight points here, that on these eight points on these streets there would be significant buildings. So when we went, we discovered that they were Quaker meeting houses, a mix of Quaker meeting houses, a holy well, and financial institutions, including the Exchequer, the, the Exchequer Chambers building. So they were all, it's like a, a little hot house of financial and religious masonry going on in Dublin. Like a little engine. And that's what it is. It amounts to the engine that drives the city. So Urban Outfitters, when it went, when they bought that building and went in there, everybody thought it was a really strange choice. Everybody kind of went, why are they going in there? Why aren't they going in Grafton Street? You know, the big shopping streets, like, why are they going into Little Temple Bar where it's all little shops like this? And every, nobody could figure it out. And it's because they're at, this, they're at the centre point of the engine, of the financial engine of the city, designed by the Freemasons. Cut me off, cut me off. Holy my life, let me go.